Can you tell us a little bit about how the weakness of the transportation infrastructure creates multiple modes within Bangalore? Yeah, so this is a very interesting thing that I discovered after we opened our incubator and a couple of companies that I had started in Bangalore. Uh, of course, we immediately began to engage in the, the difficult task of finding the right talent and getting people to come into the incubator or the companies. Um, and we quickly found uh, that a caricature of the, a common solution that's emerged um, is the transportation limitations and the time that it takes to get from point A to point B uh, so onerous that people have chosen to work only where they live. There is a new life sciences cluster that's popping up uh, closer to the airport, which is very far away from the city. And it's becoming its own little city et mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, around which things are happening. So that's an interesting uh, mm -hmm. development. And for lower end talent, um, so for instance, uh, there's a, a chain of, um, um, uh, I would describe as, so this is a very nice example of tech enabled entrepreneurship. Um, my student and I created a sort of Starbucks for poor people around tea. Mm -hmm. So it's called Chai Point. Um, and we have about 100 stores in Delhi and Gurgaon and uh, a couple other places. Um, um, but the tech, infra it's, it's built in Bangalore because the tech infrastructure is in Bangalore and we built it from day one to support, we hope, several thousand stores eventually. But for that, we need people to, uh, to man the stores. Uh, and I say man because you still wouldn't have a woman in the stores late at night in, uh, in, any, in most Indian cities um, because of the lack of security, sure. public security. So we need uh, typically young men to, to, to be the so-called baristas in the store. Um, we had to invest extraordinary amounts uh, in, the, in creating the conditions to create, to say it the way I had uh, articulated it before. Uh, including uh, creating a separate training academy to train these kids who were typically middle school uh, dropouts who had no prospects in life. And we would teach them things like, you've, you've got to look at your watch so that you know what time things start. If you don't have a watch, here's a watch. You have to shampoo uh, every day, and you have to cut your nails, mm -hmm. and you have to wear a head net and gloves. No store in India wears gloves, so we try to make a point, uh, a symbolic point. Um, and is it, is it plastic? Plastic, yeah, plastic, like, plastic, yeah. Yeah, just like your yeah. sanitary, sanitary gloves when you are handling food yeah, and sure. things of that nature. No store in India does that, not the highest end mm -hmm. store, uh, but we do. Um, because it's cheap and it's right. easy and, and it makes a point. Makes a point. Yeah. It has succeeded beyond anybody's imagination, just the littlest things. But we had to create the infrastructure right. to allow these kids to have a shot at life. Right? We had to give them accommodation. Uh, and this goes back to the point of little clusters. Because they're, not in a, they're typically migrants from poorer parts of India who come into Bangalore with no education because they've heard Bangalore is a place sure. where you can get a job. We would do things like uh, rent, uh, rent a loft. And we would have, uh, so we are mimicking at the scale of the individual entrepreneur what happens uh, done by the state in Shenzhen to allow migrants from inner China to come to the city in the tens of thousands. We're a small startup with 100 stores. Uh, we employ close to 1,000 people. Um, but many of them are housed in these little apartments that we rented. Uh, and you know what? The economics work out, because the lowering in our attrition more than compensates for the incremental rent that we pay. And the goodwill that we get is enormous. Mm -hmm. The lowering of uh, pilferage and so-called shrinkage in the stores. If you do the math on it, it's a no-brainer. Uh, but you have to have the, the slightly longer view to build that infrastructure out. Um, and that's contributed again to this sub-cities within the big city type of pocket. Uh, 